Hey everybody, welcome to Signal 65 Video Insights. I'm Ryan Shrout, president at Signal 65, joined by a extra special guest, Pavan Davalori, CVP of the Windows and Devices Group at Microsoft. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's 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 awesome to have you and, and be able to talk to you. Um, you know, we've been working a lot together, really, most of this year on kind of the the rollout and um, the, the the kind of the the buildup and release of Copilot Plus and everything that this has has become in terms of its own PC segment. I'm curious, talk to me a little bit about kind of how you've seen the rollout of Copilot Plus this far, kind of like what the early feedback has been. Sure. Uh, I think I, I would like to start by just saying thank you, Ryan, for the work that you and the entire team here has done. It's been fantastic. Thank, thank you for the partnership. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's actually just been four four months now that we are into uh, shipping Copilot Plus devices, and it's been it's been an exciting you know four months for us. Um, I would say uh, it, the the feedback we're getting from our uh, customers, reviewers, our channel partners uh, has been great. Uh, it's actually quite frankly exceeded I think some of our early expectations in this space. And we the the things that resonate with our customers right now is the fact that the devices themselves and both. The Surface team and our ecosystem partners have created in the category of Copilot Plus devices are just great devices. And so devices land well with our customers. Uh, these devices are performant. So the absolute performance of these systems, their capabilities when it comes to battery life, as an example, yeah, yeah. resonating deeply with our customers. So good general purpose PCs in addition to the new kind of AI capabilities. That's right. Copilot Plus. We're I love missing it. a new wave of AI capabilities in Windows to our customers with these Copilot Plus PCs. That is really exciting. That's actually that's actually the next thing I want to talk to you about, right? The biggest update, you kind of launched this in May, very recently, I think on October 1st. Yes. Kind of did a whole refresh or or addition of new features. Yep. I want to ask you about those, but then also, like, is that kind of your your plan and, and cadence of iteration and, and improvement? Should I expect to see a handful of new features, you know, every couple of quarters? Or what are you thinking great, about? Great, great question, Ryan. I would say... First, um, the the update that we had that we had talked about on October first is a significant update when it comes to the journey that we've been on for Copilot Plus uh, devices in terms of bringing AI capabilities, you know, to customers. We talked about both a new Microsoft Copilot app experience in itself, and then we talked a bunch of uh, AI capabilities that we're introducing in Copilot Plus PCs that mm-hmm. Windows, you know, sort of level of constructs. There are there are a whole there are a whole bunch of capabilities that I'm personally excited about. I think. When we talk to customers that understand kind of where pain points live for them today and just in how they use the product and for the things that they see valuable for for computers, uh, this idea of improved Windows search where you have better search capabilities, where you don't have to remember, you know, files and folders, yes. whether it's in the Windows search box or in file settings or in, uh, file explorer, I'm sorry, or in, in settings, you get to use natural language and the, the operating still understands these constructs. Seems like a high value thing for people. Very much a high currency thing. Yeah. Another great one right in my mind is um, this feature that we call Click to Do, uh, which is a user invoked action. You know, can Windows key and click right, for instance, and it triggers a set of models that have an understanding of your screen. Hmm. And then, based on the understanding of the screen, it gives you options for copilot actions, essentially. And that to me is powerful because we, in my mind, the simplest construct we have today for. Um, OS stitching across applications today is something as simple as copy paste. It, in my mind, uh, things like click to do with Copilot Actions this is the next generation of bringing intelligence, kind of like where you are in your workflow, help you bridge across applications. I think that's going to be exciting. Uh, we have a bunch of new capabilities with diffusion models, things like yes. a generative erase and generative fill and paint, super resolution in photos. Um, so yeah, so we have a pretty significant payload, I would say. It was a big up. Yeah, yeah. To answer your second question. Um, kind of our thought process, since it is a world of early days when it comes to Copilot Plus PCs in this category we're building, and certainly we are learning and listening to our customers, uh, both across commercial and consumer. Our approach is to start with these features in the Windows Insider program, use that as an opportunity to get signal on what's working, what's not, how the features are sort of being validated by customers and their use cases. And then we will release them into retail, into kind of the broad population of Windows users across consumer and commercial, on a cadence that people are probably more familiar with by way of Windows updates that happen more traditionally. And those updates just bring these new AI capability and a set of features. And Okay. So. Okay. Very cool. Now, the, the other big change that's happened recently is we have expanded out the kind of reach of silicon partners that are now Copilot Plus PC ready or capable or, or actually actively selling. 
right? What does that bring to the segment? Like, why is that important for Microsoft and for the kind of the community at large? That's hugely important for us. In my mind, one of the superpowers of the Windows ecosystem is the ecosystem. And we want to be able to celebrate choice and options for our customers. And our silicon partners, both having AMD and Intel getting added up to lineup that we announced uh, earlier with uh, with our Qualcomm partnership, mm -hmm. I think brings that breadth of ecosystem options for our customers. It gives them choice. It gives them options. Um, and I think that is a great way for us to have more Copilot Plus PCs available to more customers, more channels, more options. Um, but that, that is a powerful thing in terms of growing the category. Now, at Signal 65, we actually released a set of kind of Lab Insights reports. Yep. That we focused on each of those individual silicon partners and showed, you know, what they could do from a Copilot Plus and an AI performance capability, but also just how uh, kind of the emphasis on power efficiency and battery life and general purpose performance yeah. really made it clear that that's, this generation of PC is different than the last, mm -hmm. right? Copilot Plus is a big part of it, but also just everything else Absolutely. comes with it. Correct. Yeah. I could not agree with you more. I think the the class of devices with Copilot Plus being better when it comes to fundamentals on performance, great battery life, and quite frankly, even things like the neural engine that are really emblematic of we want better acceleration, we want the acceleration to be more performant and energy efficient, are all good examples of things that I think customers will value in the Copilot Plus PC context you know, more broadly. Yeah, yeah. So what, how, what do you view uh, for what's next for Copilot Plus, right? We could talk about additional features, uh, do you see a, a vision of kind of where we're going to need more NPU performance or other yeah. accelerator performance, um, you know, covering more consumer workloads? I, I keep telling everybody that the next thing you're going to see is is something that you haven't predicted, you haven't thought of before. But sure. how's, how are you and Microsoft kind of working through that? That's uh, It's a great question. Uh, you know, it's the thing we think about, I would say, every day at work. <laughs> um, uh, Ryan, I think the, the way uh, my sort of approach to that space, I think it's kind of a representation of what the Windows team is doing, certainly our devices uh, team, and I would say more broadly across Microsoft is, uh, you know, I think the innovation is going to happen on, on all of those vectors you described on multiple fronts. You're going to find our, the great work that we do with our silicon partners is going to continue to accelerate itself. We're going to find more capable silicon, more performance silicon better on NPU performance, better at energy efficiency, but not just those. You'll see better camera pipelines, better display infrastructure, mm -hmm. you know, better CPUs, GPUs. So that I think will continue to get richer. And the NPU piece particularly is interesting for us because we're at the infancy of taking advantage yeah, of capability as much things. You're going to see the models getting better for sure. You're going to see Windows build better models. You're going to see the company at large build more models and more capable models. The industry is going to build, can, you know, continue to build better models. And so we're going to see us try to take advantage of those capabilities. You'll see us continue to innovate at the experience layer of Windows and new capabilities in the operating system, new developer platform capabilities that others can go build on top of it. Um, and certainly apps and experiences, I think, will be the fertile ground for opportunity, like you said, both in terms of doing new things that people you know, have not envisioned would not be possible otherwise on a PC, but also taking things that we do every day today and then transforming them in a way that people also perhaps may not quite appreciate. Yeah, I, I love the idea that, uh, you know, for, for many years now, we've basically seen kind of the performance landscape and the computing landscape at large across Windows or any other operating system has kind of been very iterative. And you can see you're kind of on the cusp here of big drastic shifts yeah. that are going to take place. Absolutely. We're going to be in a world of nonlinear gains across that yeah. entire system and that's the issue. So the, the last question I want to ask you is about kind of the competitive landscape uh, uh, that, that Windows and Copilot Plus PCs have to kind of compete in. Um, there's a, a lot of shifts in the consumer AI market. We're talking about, you know, everything from laptops to smartphones to, to anything yeah. that's occurring out there. Um, you know, how do you think about that competitive landscape and how do you ensure that Microsoft and Windows in this ecosystem is differentiated or, or, or better than what's out there? Sure. Um, first, let me just say, this is a super exciting time for us to be in the computing industry. I think it itself. Yeah. I think whether it's a PC, a phone, um, app experiences, if you're a developer you know, on Windows or on mobile, it's a great time to be here because I think it's a, it's a great space for innovation, for learning, for you know, creating new opportunities, impacting people in their lives in a much more material fashion. So you know, overall, I think it's, a, it's a, just a great time for us to be in the industry and be doing, kind of having the opportunity to do what we're doing. When it comes to Windows and Microsoft, I think there are, there are a couple of things that really kind of make it special for us by way of an opportunity. And I think our ability to make an impact with customers. Uh, one big thing for us, of course, as a company, is we have uh, 
Azure infrastructure, of course, which houses among the best models in the world. Microsoft is innovating and building these models in the cloud with uh, with our partners, of course, and certainly work that we're doing within the company. Yeah. And the same thing is true for Windows on the Edge. We're reinventing what the operating system could look like. We very much want to think of Windows as being the best destination for AI experiences on the Edge, for sure. That's a statement on the operating system, the user experiences, and certainly the the models are built in the product. So right. I think that's our ability to connect the cloud experiences with Edge experiences and have them be great for yeah, and customers in a way that's composed. Uh, I think is a real differentiator for Microsoft as a company. The other thing for us in Windows, like we talked about earlier, is we are an open platform, and so we invite having an entire ecosystem, you know, celebrating the capabilities on the platform for their customers. And so we have things like Windows Copilot Runtime as a developer platform where you can choose inbox capabilities in Windows. You can bring your own models. Of you, we love working with the open source ecosystem, for example, for having their models be performant on Windows. So tons of opportunities, I think, for people to go innovate on top of the platform and bring value as they see it, both for consumer and, and commercial. I love it. Um, and then I think the beautiful thing with Microsoft is if the AI experiences show up in our collective product portfolio. So whether, you, you know, we're delivering AI in my mind right now that reaches you on any device. So whether you're on a phone, on your you know, work PC or any other device in the ecosystem, we have the ability to reach you in those experiences and have continuity for you across those experiences. So... I think we're in a great place and it's a great time to be doing this. I, I can tell you as somebody who's been kind of covering PC space for 20, 25 years as well, uh, it, it feels different right now, right? right? It's just some, something fundamentally is different about kind of what the increases we're seeing and, and how those experiences are going to really change what we do. So I'm really looking forward to it. I really appreciate you spending the time with us. It's great to talk to you Thank again. You. Thank and, you. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with you some more going forward. Great appreciate point. it. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, you can find us at Signal65.com. And thanks, Pavan, again for joining. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you very much.